Good afternoon everyone. Today we will be discussing about coding of adverse events using safety easy. When coding of adverse events, we should make sure that we know the appropriate terminology to which we could code a verbatim using the medical dictionary of regulatory activities. As you may see on the screen, we are currently using the version 19.1 of Medra. Safety Easy also has the facility to upgrade the version to version 20. We would see that using a demonstration. Whenever we are coding an adverse event using Safety Easy, we need to go to Medra. When we click on Medra, a screen would pop up within which we would be able to enter the specific verb after. For example, let's assume the patient suffered from bleeding in his gums after he took the suspect drug. So as you may see, I have written the verbatim over here and when I will select the version here as per the need and click on search, I will get the closest associated term with bleeding and gums. And this is what we call as a machine learning. So as we would scroll down, I could see the most associated term with bleeding and appropriately select the specific term. When I will select the specific term, I will also get to see the corresponding system organ class here. As you may see that there are two different system organ class. First, pertaining to gastrointestinal disorder and second, pertaining to vascular disorder. The one which is highlighted in black so is associated with the primary system organ class and the other one which is associated with vascular disorder is the secondary system organ class. So as per the ICS guidelines, we will select the primary system organ class. And as you may see, now the verbatim has changed here from, uh, uh, from bleeding gingival, which is the lower level term, to the preferred term, gingival bleeding, and the version has now changed to version 20.0 and now we will update the verbatim as we used it for coding the adversary. Further, if we may scroll down, we could also see the adverse even seriousness criteria and here we may check the appropriate seriousness criteria for which I have checked hospitalization and accordingly select the outcome of the adverse event whether the condition was recovered, improved, aggravated or was continued. And accordingly while processing the case in medical evaluation we may also select if the case if the adverse event was listed as per the reference safety information or unlisted and which was the corresponding core data sheet which we used. Thank you for joining in for the session. For more information, please visit our website www.clenaminds.com or contact us. Thank you.